this is why you bring your puncher kit with you. <laughs> oh man, it's flat as flat. <laughs> oh, this sucks because I'm so close to the top. Literally. Maybe you know the 300 meters up there. Oh well, stuff happens. Um, I think it's going to take ages to get home. I need to walk all the way up to the top and see if I can catch a ride with somebody. Whoever's driving down this road. Just runs along there. But to be honest, no one really drives along this road because there's a blockage about here. Um, or I can walk all the way, all the way back down there and I don't know. I don't really like catching rides with strangers. And to be honest, not many people are going to be able to put my bike in their car. Um, yeah. I'm supposed to be studying today because I've got a real big test tonight and I haven't studied for it at all. Um, this is going to take a couple hours to get home. Oh well. <laughs> hey guys, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana here and I set out on a mission this morning to bike up top of Rapaki track and then bike home instead of going for a run um, but now I got a flat tyre and I didn't bring any equipment with me to fix the flat tyre so that's a little bit of my own fault um, so yeah it's going to take a couple of hours to get home <laughs> but um, all I can do is just go as fast as I can while carrying a bike so anyway <laughs> I was going to vlog at the top of here but I don't really have time now that I um, have a flat tire and I'm not going to be able to bike home but it's alright I'll show you a picture of the sheep instead it is a sheep I love seeing them when I come up here I wish I could show the view too guys because it's really good up here but the other side you can get to see not this side but the other side you get to see the um what do you call it the bay around the other side it's really nice way over there it's um mostly like Littleton and Diamond Harbour and you see like Rapaki it's really beautiful I'll get to take you there sometime in the summer hopefully and you'll get to see some of the wee beaches there but yeah I better head off home and um do some study a little bit gutted about this but hey can't dwell on it hey it's me again I thought well <clears throat> it's not very often that I actually get to go for a walk so I'll just take this opportunity to have a chat because I can well I'm kind of stuck <laughs> taking this thing um, so yeah let's have a, a walk and a chat because I don't really get to do that with you guys very often. Um, I guess I'm usually on the go. <sighs> now, I did something actually the other week. Um, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And um, it was like one of those things that students would have nightmares about. And, um, and then you wake up and you're like, oh, oh my god, it was just a dream. <laughs> Well, I went to a test thinking it was open book, um, but it wasn't. <laughs> and it wasn't until I sat down and looked around the room before I was about to start and realised nobody else had any material sitting on their desk. And I was the only one. And then I was like... Oh. <laughs> um, so it's a closed book test then, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, I can't be good alright. 
Um, I didn't stress out too much. And I got my mark back the other day. It was alright. I mean, it was a pass, but it wasn't great. So, I guess, like, this is my sixth year of tertiary education um, now. So, I would imagine if that had happened so many years ago, I probably would have panicked really badly and um, not been able to cope. But maybe that just that's just something that maybe comes with age or to change in, in the way you see things, possibly. Yeah. I hope it's not too windy up here, guys. Um, as you can see, I got my headphones in. Oh, there's a cyclist coming. I might ask if he's got a puncture repair kit. No, he didn't have a kit. He only lives downhill, so he doesn't really have to. Lucky. <laughs> I think I should get a new selfie stick. This one I got is so cheap. And, um, when you're holding it, it starts to spin around and it just doesn't stay in place. So I still really want to get an action camera, um, then I can put you guys on the helmet and let you see some better sights of New Zealand. Well, basically just around where I live because I don't have a car. Um, I've never bought myself a car, I never really owned a car. Um, I can drive, I got my, um, yeah, I'm fully qualified to drive on the roads in New Zealand. Um, it's just something that I've never really had much of a desire to buy. Um, it's not really great for the environment. <laughs> um, and, you know, even before I was vegan, I was always sort of environmentally conscious to a certain extent. Um, so, yeah, and I save so much money. Not having one as well. So yeah. I bought cars for other people. Yeah, I know, that sounds bizarre. What the hell, Melissa? Um, it was more like borrowing, they were borrowing money off me. Blah, blah, blah. I don't come from a wealthy background, I just been working since about the age of 11 so and, um, I enjoy saving money more than spending it to be honest so although I do enjoy spending money on good quality produce well to the best quality that I can buy there's a reason why many indigenous people didn't thrive um, in the South Island in New Zealand because the winter here it's not very good for growing plants. Well, plants that you can eat. Well, you can eat lots of plants but plants that are reasonably tasty <laughs> that you can eat. Hey guys! Um, I thought I'd better do an ending to the video because my phone died when I was up there. So I was walking along for about another 20 minutes, asked a few other people if they would help me with my puncher, but they didn't have the equipment. And then one guy, who I didn't even ask, actually asked if I needed a hand, and he had the equipment. So he helped me put it all back together, you know, uh, which was really good. And then I was able to bike back home. So I'm not gonna let the mountain beat me. We will um, go up there again sometime soon, and I will, um, be able to get some nice footage for you at the top. Um, I used to run up there quite a bit. It's quite a nice, it's quite a nice running track. A lot of people walk up there as well. So yeah, I will take you up there sometime again soon. Um, hopefully, if I get an action camera, it'll be even better because then I can speed up the footage and you can see me climbing up. And yeah, I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. See ya.